Four men, one mission, one goal. To seek answers from the paranormal world, exploring haunted locations. For centuries that quest has continued, but answers still remain. Do ghosts exist amongst the living? We seek the truth and believe paranormal worlds exist and remain and reach out in many forms. Ghosts, ghosts demons, 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 poltergeists, dark energies. We seek only the truth for what we believe is the truth. Paranormal worlds exist and reach out in many forms. Follow our quest, our journey, through haunted England into the dark side, to seek the truth. myself and see if you actually want to make contact in your own way. Footsteps, bangs, I've heard that people have had their hair pulled, they've been pushed, perhaps been quite active around here. So I wonder what you're going to do if I read the Lord's Prayer in uh, Greek, the original language of this book, which you, I think, revere quite a lot. Pater Homon Hoen Twist Varanus Agias Theatu to Honamasu El Theatu Hibasiliasu Genethetu to Thelemasu Hoe Sunanu Kai Epistes Case Ton Aton Humen Ton Epiuson Tos Humen Simoron Kai Face Humen Ta of Alimata Humon Hus Kai Race Afemen Twist of Aliatas Humon Kai Me A Sinning Case Comas eis perasmon ala korosai, comas akutu ponuru, potis su estin he basilia, kahi donus, kahi doxa, estuenos. Amen. Very rare that we'll do things when you want, but I do think later on tonight something might happen. It's 
slip sliding through the passage of time, tonight we enter a place of sinister foreboding, where once said a dark entity full of malevolence protects thy King James Bible at all costs. This is the lair of a dark domain of a poltergeist. How wretched and vile we are to him, for he will cast us asunder into the darkness. He will be waiting, ready to pounce upon our darkest fears. There will be no place to hide. We must be strong and stand firm, for we need to meet him to try to discover the truth, for it will be tense and an encounter that we may never forget. Dare we enter this vortex of paranormal insanity. So it was built uh, in 1390 by the Corpus Christi Guild. They were a lay religious body. They were based in the church next door, which is now the cathedral. And when Henry VIII dissolved all the monasteries in the 1540s, it fell into private ownership for a little while. And there was an eccentric lady called Cecilia Pickrell from uh, Norwich, who paid a few pounds for the guild hall. And um, she bought it with a, uh, she never actually saw it. I don't think she ever visited. She owned it for a few years, and then it fell into the hands of the corporation, which was a precursor of the city council. Uh, and it's been with the people of Leicester ever since. Um, it's been used uh, as a courtroom. So we've got the gavels on the stage just there. So they would be used by the judge for, you know, keeping order. Um, we've got the old table and chair there. Uh, and it's also, it was also the town hall, so the great mace. Uh, which was used by the Lord Mayor that used to be kept in the Guildhall. Again, this wing was built around 1490. Um, the books were based next door in the church, but again, when Henry VIII dissolved the monasteries, the books came from the church next door. They came into here. Um, it's the third oldest in Britain. I think there's uh, Bristol and uh, Norwich, possibly got older public libraries. But the books will date most of them from um, the... 15th, 16th century, so they, you know, old books, uh, a lot in Latin, and there's a lot of medical books, a lot of books about religion and philosophy. As the night falls, it is time for the lockdown to begin. Dare we enter the poltergeist domain? Tick, tock, tick, tock. This is the constable's room of power. I think where, where he's later used as a courtroom, something for that. This is where the judiciary went on, isn't it? Is anybody that would like to communicate with us? Anybody here at all? some phenomena. Two EVPs are captured but unclear to us. We continue to ask questions. Who is with us? We seem to capture an EVP. Is it saying, I just don't know my name? Could this be reference to a past event and seem to emanate from the area near the chair? Is there anybody in here that would like to communicate with us? I know we've got the doctor here. Come on, don't be shy. Come closer to us. Use any energy you want in here. We need to hear a clear response from you. Gary asks if the doctor is present in the room and we receive a response. Is it saying, please stand with me? And what is it referring to? Why did they 
call the cost of war? I don't know, it was just in the news, wasn't it? But they don't know where there was a shadow or the sun, but it looked like a little child crawling across the floor. What in here? Yeah. Was there a little child seen crawling across the floor in this room? Did we just receive an internal response saying that lying down in reference to Stuart's question about a child walking across the floor? Come to the silver box in my hand. Or touch one of us in this room. This response seems to indicate to us that the spirit is aware of our presence and believes we are watching it, chilling to know it is around us. Just letting that a couple of seconds go, like, mm, that was me, just to stamp it. That's right. one. We are unsure to this response, but it does appear to be using foul language aimed at us, clearly nasty and aggressive. Oh no, we might take your Bible. Ooh. Ooh, Doesn't like that one, does he? Don't put it too close. Quite astonishing we receive an aggressive response after Stuart threatens to take the Bible, clearly intelligent and menacing. We shall have to be careful. I just got one question. Did he get any of these whilst I was working in my camera? Yeah, I got a couple of faint ones. It was, it was, it was the aggressive male then that spoke to Stuart. Come to the box in my hand. I'm pretty sure you didn't like the word Bible, but um, of course we're going to go and look at that Bible. I need to know what you think about that. It's just a light, it's still a light again, just be Yeah, well I've gone really cold here and... But that wasn't, yeah. that, didn't, that didn't look like dust. As soon as you said I've gone cold, yeah. ten seconds, two seconds before, a white light went boom from the back of your arm. And it sort of vanished. Are you playing with me now? Are you around? Come and speak into the box then. Talk now into it. We've got the sound effects anyway, haven't we? <laughs> so, you've got a mallet here. Yeah. So, you just check down here where Vicky said it went really cold before. It's still cold it's now? Yeah, yeah I don't know if it's a window there. Well, it could be, couldn't it? Mm -hmm. Wait till that's gone. Play that don't back. Don't seem to be. Yeah. Right, okay, then let's just play that back then while we uh, just did. Right. 
Hello. What was it that? Picked, it picked up the uh, bell, didn't it? But you hear a voice. Shh. That was like proper. I've just had blasted air come out. That's very clear. That's yeah. having a suit. Yeah. Right, brother, just. It's not one of his. That's no. I don't think so. <laughs> no, because at the time that was going ding, ding, ding. Yeah, I've got it recorded, so I'm going to play it back later to see if it's. Have got it? Never once, Steve. Come on then, we can hear you now speaking to us. Let's Come see, into the box again. See if let's play mine box too. Yeah. See if you can call it. You've got it as well? Same. Yeah. Sometimes contamination is inevitable, however we are amazed to have picked up two EVPs at the same time, saying find Patty and don't forget me. Okay, we've just been in the constable's house, which was I think later used as a courtroom at the guild hall. Um, we've had some voices in here, we, uh, I mentioned about the Bible upstairs and we got an angry voice back then, we're going to analyse that when we get back, and also we've got a really creepy one, as the bells outside started chiming, but we, we did capture something. Now we're in the Great Hall of the Guild Hall, we're going to see what activity we find here, and then we're going to make our way up into the, the room with the Bible in and the library. So we'll see, we'll get. last time we came here we had uh, EMF spikes. Now I thought it might be due to the radio station across the road, but we'll see. Yeah, anybody like to speak to us, come on. Got all our energy here, we want to communicate with you. See this in my hand here, I'll put my hand out for you. I don't know if you've gave your name out. You can't quite hear the moment, but that's sounding pretty good. Can you go to the scene of the day, can you communicate by doing this? Come on, come and speak with us. Make us go dizzy, light-headed, touch one of us. Walk towards one of the lads with these in their hand. Anything, come on. Make a sound. Right, we've got a piece of history here. The judge, got your gavel. Would you like to come and speak to me? I'm holding your gavel. Are you happy with this? It's a fine stick. Where's that music coming from? Do you want to communicate with us? Would you like to speak? Is that your gavel that you, the sailor's holding? Is he allowed to use it? Can you tell him off? Tell him to put it back? If anybody's held this in here, you can see me now. Come on, have a chat. Tell us. What, what do you want me to do with this? Come on, we've got this stick. This has been used probably to send people to jail, I don't know. It's an amazing stick, a bit wobbly. We've got some of the air with us. Activity is present with a female saying you took it. Look closely at the K2 light up as Gary asks if there is any spirits present. We have slowed down this clip for you to observe. 
Is this where you used to dish out your orders? Is this where you used to bang this stick down, send someone to jail? Change some law around the area. Come on. We're we'll going to pull it back in a minute. Come and give us a clear voice. Come speak with us. Brilliant. Right, we're engaging your conversation now then. We've got your attention. Was it pulling the stick down? Talk to me again if you can. instantly get several EVP responses in succession. However, it's the last response aimed in profanity at Ed. It appears to be cursing him. Nurse, you couldn't speak to me. We'll have a face to face again. What is this window? Talk to me, please. I've got the stick. I want to communicate with you now. Speak to me, we'll have a face to face again. What is this window? Talk to me, please. I've got the stick, I want to communicate with you now. Something around there, isn't it? Right, what was here then? Who's here? This, this spot here, this is where we're getting all the feelings. Devil. Did you hear that? I said the devil. More EVPs follow and kill temperature spikes and what appears to be an SB7 response saying the devil and demon. The activity is increasing. Why are you saying silly words like the devil? Oh, it's really, it's really on the temperature to drop. Of course, in them days, people believed in the devil. 
Because they were all religious people. Is the devil here? Or do you believe we're the devil because of our equipment we're holding? Someone's playing with me, yeah. Oh, well, that was something, man. Oh. Mm. You've got spikes around your head. There's something playing with my hair. What are you doing? Point five, point two, point five. Look closely and observe a strange anomaly shoot from Tony's head as he claims to be touched. This is bizarre and further activity follows. That's remarkable. Come on, who's here? I must have got a couple of lights around here, then. Well, you say the devil. Why the devil? Point six. Why are you affecting me? What are you doing to me, please? Five. Oh, it's worked really light, hasn't it? Nine, two. Come on, who's around me? Speak, push me. Gary, is it? Is Satan real or is it what yeah. we made up of him? This is spiking up, yeah. There's some, there's some kind of energy around something here. 2.6. Come on, who's here? Push me in the back. Come on, what's happening? Why am I feeling strange? I don't feel weird now, I feel alright. Yeah, it's, it's it was really strange good. because I felt really light-headed. Come on, last, last word with us before we move on. Point Anything five. to tell us before we go? immediately from a poltergeist do something to trigger a response and that's why I got my finger very close to this Bible very very close and I also said that poltergeists are not known for really speaking but is it actually really true you know you could actually question these things what I find interesting is coming back into the hall with you guys you actually got an EVP on two dictaphones that sounded like don't touch the Bible I find that really interesting because if that's a genuine EVP and a poltergeist, it might actually be the theory that poltergeists don't speak is wrong. That they do speak. Or we're about to Plus, swim. it's a challenge, you know? It's a really important one because we can't always just assume that what we've been told in the past is true because they may never have the recording capacity in the past, special recordings. So I find that's really interesting. Try to invoke something. Very, very close to the Bible, almost looks like touching. Then we've got two EVPs, not on one machine, but on two. That sounds like don't touch the Bible. As Kester talks about the poltergeist, we pick up an anomaly shooting across the Bible and into Kester's body. We have freeze frame this phenomena. Please observe. You spoke to me before, you told me to get away from the Bible. Can you do it again? Did we just hear an intelligent response? We're talking about the Bible. It is clear we are being understood by the entity that is present.
Right, do I need to get closer to it? So you have to be so close to get a response. Right, I'm going to put this on the Bible. 10 seconds. Will you come and speak to it, please? That first part sounded like get off it. Oh. Amazingly, it repeats as we appear to hear a spirit pleading, don't touch the Bible, and a secondary EVP saying, guess off it. Is this the poltergeist issuing the veil one? Get off something. But, but that first bit sounds like get off it. Let go of the I'm cold. Let's see if I've got it. But you find it so localised these ones, you have to be within a with testing it through whispering. Yeah. What I like about this one is it catches sounds really far and wide. Yeah. Push Tony, push any of us. I don't think you can do it. Who keeps twiddling with the top of my head? Who's doing this? I'm a big enough target, push me. Mm. Well, I'll, put, I'll put this in front of Carl. Can you speak to him now? Go on, give us a push in the back. Ooh, yeah, listen to that. That doesn't say die, does it? Listen. Sounds like you're going to die, isn't it? <laughs> Cheers for that. <laughs> That's weird. There's a sentence sitting there. Just to see if we've got that in here. Astonishing, we receive an angry, malevolent EVP saying, You're going to die. This is remarkable and compelling, as the poltergeist is known to fiercely protect the Bible. Well, that's a, that's that a was that's a sign. That sounds like it. You're going, going to die. die. Going to die. Ooh, you're about to get out of the Oh my God! 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 It's pronounced in it to die. Maybe, I mean, it, it sounds. Right. I know something's happening because my legs started to knock me in and I started to pick up on it. What's that fun in the toilet thing? Now then, oh, yeah. my ears go up and my arms. Completely. What's going off here? We've got something around us, we better get onto it. So, what happens when we die then? We're all going to die. Get a spike. Get a spike on there, one five. Come on, you're going to speak with us. I'm shivering. Off. No, just ask the question. Oh, God. I don't feel good around here at the moment. Is it? What is it? That's uh, the yeah. house and that's uh, That noise in, in I don't place. feel right at the moment here. That, that, that basically noises the spikes. Oh, God. Oh. I'm feeling really strange. Right, can I ask a question? There's been two, two things here tonight. What's that? Uh, one is the last DVP said you're going to die. That is in reference to, we don't know. But you also said something about he wants to talk to somebody. Who is he want to talk to? Is it Kester? Because Kester's interested in the Bible. 
Perhaps Kester Kest can... I don't think I can stand in this area much longer, I just can't stand. I ain't joking, I just feel so weird and my legs are... I'll, I'll do it then. Yeah. Maybe Kester can speak to you. Ask a question, Kester. Yeah. First of all, have I offended you in some way? Yes or no? Did it displease you that I read out some quotes in Greek of the New Testament? Some up there, definitely. Did the last EVP response to Kester suggest it was saying to him, you're punishing me, referring to the language he spoke with it? This is remarkable and intelligent. We've, we've been asking questions to see whether you're unhappy. Are you unhappy with me? Stop trembling. That's how I'm old. That's how I'm feeling at the moment. I don't know what it is, but it's Train. not good in there. It's so much shit. Right, it's after the EVP. Come on. This version's actually really quite a bad one because the translations are shockingly yeah. bad. Yeah. Some people really like it. Some people adore it, but I don't. But if this is a King James version of the Bible, it would have been written just after a period where Hebrew would have been banned. Yeah. They wouldn't have allowed it in England at all. Just as Kester explains that Hebrew would not be tolerated in the times of the King James Bible, we appear to capture an anomaly come out of Kester's head. This is truly shocking. Was this evidence a spirit was manifesting around Kester? We have captured a still photo. Is this a face we can see? There appears to be omnipresence in the Bible room and more so around the Bible area as Kester recites the Ten Commandments in a foreign language. It seems to invoke further activity. What did you actually say? This one is just basically the Ten Commandments, the Exodus version. And if this person's entering the Bible, and if this person's entering the Bible, and if this person's entering the Bible, this would actually mean something deep to them. And do it a third time. Hopefully my pronunciation is even better that time. I won't shame myself so much. All of a sudden, several EVPs come through and further testament that the entity is responding intelligently to Kester reciting religious texts. Did it say, I shall forbid? I just heard a whisper then. Somebody else. Oh, I see no, it was in my ear. There was two taps down there. Was, there. was that you? Yeah. There was two taps down there before as Kester was reciting that. Yeah. 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 You heard them and I heard them. Yeah. You heard them. It wasn't yeah. your other four was boards, was it? No. Did you hear some of No. Because yeah. yeah. you heard it. Yeah. I heard oh. voices out. That was like that, Stuart. This was a whisper. Yeah. yeah. No, I heard it. I heard the two taps over that. <coughs> well, yeah, right around here. It was very, very quick. It's cold. Third time. And do it better this time. Yeah. Temperature's actually gone out. Yeah. After hearing a succession of bands in the room and feeling the temperature drop, we receive an EVP what appears to be saying, I can speak Hebrew, clearly intelligent and truly a sensational capture. Come on then. Did you just make me feel like crap? Did you affect my energy to the point where I felt ill?
This is your Bible. What happens next can be heard by all of us in the room, every footsteps, could this be the poltergeist pacing the floor angry with us and protecting the bible? Yeah, but it's could be the floorboards creaking all the way up to the house. Oh, it's not creaking when I know. That was awesome. He said walking. It was definitely some noise. I mean, we don't know, but it was definitely some noise like someone was walking there. Exactly. Did you hear that? What was that? We are shocked to hear the footsteps again while Tony conducts an EVP session. We confirm that none of the team are walking at this time. This is truly extraordinary phenomena. <laughs> Is that you, Caster? Hey, hey, let's keep quiet now. Let's just stand outside the machine. Can you hear that? That sounded either like Andy or Handy. Who's here? Can you make that walk in the night? Bang again for us. Well, the temperature's dropped by four degrees. And it's still dropping. Well, we're going to bang the floor, copy us. Come on, you can't be scared. You push people, you pull hair. Why can't you do that tonight? Why can't you make a big bang? Why are you doing it when we've got noise, so you're being crafted? Is that it? The boss is going to be able to table caster. That's just one that's just one off. Well, we've got somebody here who's who's making noise. This noise happens to try and mask it. If you want to wear it, it's, it's you. If we keep it, it's going again. That was doing that earlier when we were quite fine. Actually, that's impressive, but can you please try? Make that noise you did before while we were all talking. K2 is coming up. Come on, bring your energy in. Apparently, you lifted this table and banged it down last week. You push people, you're strong, you, you make people feel sick. You've affected me bad, I know you bad. Come on, do something, give us a big bang or walk along the floor. Come on. See if you can copy this. Come on then, I've been pushed in the back in this bit before. Did you, did you push me in the back here once? Why did you do it? Can you do it again? But well, why did you push me? Why did you hit me like you did? What did I do wrong to you? Tony conducts an SP7 session asking why he was pushed on a previous investigation. Did we just receive a reply saying, you're going to be pushed? Can you do it again for me? I'll walk like I did. Go on, hit me. Go on, try. You don't play to order, do you? I bet.
Is that right? Is somebody laughing here? Someone's not here, somebody laughing. Is that right? Hello. Hello, all right. That's good. You pulled our friend's hair here last week. What was the name? What was the name? You pulled the hair right here, right now, just this spot. This is where you come in, isn't it? This is where you do your dirty work. Her name was Nat. Can you say Nat? But well, why did you pull Nat sir? What did you do? That's nasty. Why did you do it? You pull my hair. Ben. Yeah. Ben. Very good. You need to do a bit more clear though. Come on. Come on, I'll stand in this doorway. What's the issue here then? What don't you like people going through this bit? Is there a problem? We received several SP responses in this area where people complained of being pushed in the back and having their hair pulled. Is something guarding the entrance to the Bible area? I don't think you pushed me last time. I think it was just my muscles. Just to get out. Yeah, I that. You say Stuart. Say Gary. Tony asks if the spirit can say Gary and almost immediately it appears to confirm it can and repeats Tony's question. Is this an intelligent entity with us? But well, we shall be going in a minute somewhere else. Where do you want us to go? Well, we just had the session in the, uh, the barber room here. We've had a scary VP saying, you know, you're going to die. We've had uh, all sorts of bad feelings, negativity in here. Uh, excellent session, but very scary at the same time. Let's try this way. Prison officer, policeman, someone who spent the time here, maybe he died in here while he was looked up as a drunk. Come on, that was good, who's that? Speak to us again. You say give it. Come on, was you arrested? What was it like being put in the cell? Were you cold? There's a jailer here, I should be in the cells, I'm out. Please put me away. What did they feed you? Is this a nasty place to be in? Did you get treated right? The cell area is mildly active and we receive several unknown responses, but contamination from the outside makes it very difficult to continue and we bring the investigation to a close. Tonight's investigation at the Leicester Guild Hall has been our most intense to date. We believe we have captured compelling evidence from many entities that dwell here. Also, we made several attempts at engaging the poltergeist that many claim to have experienced here and our methodology was reciting ancient languages to it in order to try and get it to engage with astonishing results and phenomena taking place. Surprisingly to us, we feel it gave us responses vocally and replied with intelligence. Also, it appeared to understand ancient religious text. For many years, it is believed poltergeists do not communicate with speech, but merely by actions alone. Is this possible that we have questioned that theory tonight?
Do poltergeists have the ability and power to do both? They just choose not to. And very clear to us, they often reach out at a time of their choosing and not by command. Tick tock, tick tock, the paranormal clock.